folks if uh, you know those halls are just not going to be the same without him. Not even close. Good guy for sure. We have the audio for a recent. We do. Check yeah, we can listen to it. Anytime. We're gonna have to go check it out. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Hey, we've had some storms in and out, some showers through the valley, and it's pretty active on the east side of the state. So I'll kind of get right into this forecast and talk about what we have coming up later this afternoon into the evening hours. And of course, to start off the work week, here's the coin tower. We're looking to the northeast. You can see some blue sky there. For the most part today, it's been pretty gray, but late this afternoon, we finally had some sun breaks that boosted our temperatures up a little bit. There in the distance, though, some low clouds producing some rain. The sunlight really coming in from the west. It did produce a rainbow for a brief second. Looks like that has now disappeared, but it's making those clouds look a little more aggressive than they actually are because of the shadows there. Rain tolls today pushing about two tenths of an inch here in Portland. All the rain really up in the northern Willamette Valley, drier to the south and much warmer where temperatures reach the 70s today. A lot of that stream of moisture and everything to kind of get things going was farther to the north. You see trout tail coming in with 14 hundredths of an inch this afternoon and throughout the course of the day, I should say. There's the radar. Still a couple cells around here, but they're pretty much staying to the north now. So I'm not expecting a lot of rain around Portland for the rest of today, but it sure is very active and busy there. The Umatilla County just to the east of Pendleton. This system was moving from the southwest into the northeast. It continues to do that. This is the most recent severe thunderstorm warning that was put into place by the National Weather Service there in Pendleton, and that is until 545. You can see the counties there. Really, it's going to be the hail, as I mentioned earlier, and the very gusty wind. Uh, we have seen wind gusts, you know, pushing 60 miles per hour. So higher terrain, a lot of lightning. These are the type of storms you want to be indoors for, and it's going to take a good half an hour or so for that to actually clear on out. And we may still have some more development late tonight. Here's that cluster of moisture right there. Look at all that lightning. This is because a trough right here and some cold and unstable air in place also pumping in some moisture today. Temperatures in the 80s. There's the heat. There's the energy and that is exactly what's uh, we're, well, that's exactly what we're tapping into here this afternoon. At one point in time, Pendleton was at 80 degrees because see where those thunderstorms are coming down. Temperatures just in the 60s, 60s here, 70s down in the Willamette Valley and up in areas of Seattle in the 50s. We'll jump in a little bit closer to Portland, the Portland metro area hovering right around the upper 60s right now. So this may actually be the warmest part of the day because it was so cloudy earlier. We're finally breaking through and seeing those temperatures jump a little bit. For tomorrow, we may have a few showers, but pretty much dry. We'll be drying out through the course of the day. We'll bring in some sunshine as well, some passing clouds, temperatures tomorrow in the mid 40s. We still have that kind of onshore flow in place, but we'll stay pretty dry until we get to about Wednesday when we have this trough drop on down that hangs around as we go into Thursday as well before we finally start to dry up. Heading into Friday and Saturday, also bringing in some warmer weather once again. Seven day forecast 64 degrees on Monday, 68 on Tuesday. Nice day on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, a couple showers. I think Thursday mainly just in the morning. And then we clear out Friday and Saturday, weighing temperatures back into the 70s. All right, right back to it. Thank you, Joseph. Next, one of the